this time of year drives most people mad. And the reason is there's a part of you that's still in 2023 and obsessing and fixating and overthinking of the things that you didn't get done, the things that you didn't accomplish, the things that you wished happened, even grieving some of that stuff. And then the other part of you is already in 2024 where there's hopes, there's dreams, there's possibilities, and then there's even anxiety of all the things that you want to do plus excitement. And now you've got this mixed bag of emotions and your brain isn't to be fully trusted when you're in this state. So I wanted to give you two beautiful gifts of abundance right now that are going to set you up to have your most prosperous year of your life. The first thing is this episode where this is a special abundance walking meditation, your path to prosperity in 2024 designed for you to come back to again and again and again. And the other one is a sale on my make more work less course that hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people have taken and experienced incredible transformations. It's over 50% off right now. You can go to projectmewithtiffany.com forward slash make more work less. Even if you are listening to this episode and it's many months past the date, I will still honor the sale price on this course at this time if you're coming back to this episode. That is how much I want you to do this work of unclogging your abundance pipe, being able to dig in, identify those money blocks, and clean them out so you can be a container for the cash, for the love, for the support, for the community, for the help, for the success, for the things that you want. Because it's all there for you. It's just that you have a bunch of crap that's blocking you. And all we have to do is remove it. And it gets to actually be a beautiful experience to do so. Don't tell yourself the story. It has to be hard. It actually gets to be easy. In fact, it can even be fun. And it's going to be cathartic. And if you want to see all of the testimonials on it, I have a highlight dedicated to it on my Instagram at Project Me with Tiffany. And you can read through what all these people have said who have done this workbook and are coming back to it again and again and again. There's videos that go along with it. It's a full program designed for you to transform your money story in less than seven days. You can swipe up and access the sale link right inside the show notes or the description on YouTube. It's projectmewithtiffany.com forward slash make more work less. It's also in the link in my bio on Instagram and TikTok at Project Me With Tiffany. What up, my people, my posse, my fellow crazies? It's your host, Tiffany Carter, and this is an extra special episode of Project Me With Tiffany Carter where I'm giving you a guided walking meditation. I'm very well known for these. There's a full set of them called the season of abundance that are also available to you at projectmewithtiffany.com forward slash season of abundance. So if you love this, there are more for you to be able to use so that you have a variety. This one in particular is designed for you to get on the path or get back on the path of prosperity for 2024. So whether you're using it right now, entering the new year, whether it's January, 2024, and you need a refresh, whether it's June, whether it's September, it's designed to get you back into the abundance zone. It's normal to slip in and out of it. You're not always going to have this on point money mindset. In fact, that's not required because guess what? That's not humanly possible. You're not a robot. You have things come up. You have different hormones in your system. Life side whacks you. You get a disappointment. We go all over the place. But what is your responsibility is being intentional and having tools to get you back in the zone. The longer and the more time you spend in the abundance zone will have a direct correlation on the abundance coming into your life. I am not someone who does well just sitting and meditating in silence or even with music. I have a belief that when we are in motion, especially if we're people who are overthinkers, overanalyzers, have ADHD, have a lot of anxiety it's important to move your body and have like a somatic release 
of the things that are weighing you down and that are messing with your nervous system. And then you become this incredible open container to receive abundance as you're doing this. So it's almost like steaming your face and we're cleaning all the gunk out. Now your pores are wide open to receive the nutrients of the serums, of the special lotions, of all the stuff. I really like that analogy. Considering now I'm apparently a skincare influencer on TikTok, which I didn't sign up for, but I am finding this rather fun and fascinating. So let's allow your cells and your pores right now to be a cleansed and open container for abundance. So we're not carrying old gunk, whether it's from the day, whether it's from the year, whether it's from a person, whether it's from a situation or a circumstance. Let's not let that clog us up for all the abundance that is already here, already coming to us, already like, hey, we want to get in there, but you're not letting us in. There's no path in. That's why I've called this the path to prosperity. We have to allow a path to have it in. Why would you want to make it harder for the prosperity to get to you? Yet we do this mostly subconsciously, which is why this is so important. You do not have to go on a walk to listen to this. I would love for you to be in some kind of motion doing some kind of movement. You can do some light multitasking because I know some of you are going to do it anyway. But truly, I would prefer for you to be outside or you to be in like a nice setting where you light some candles, you're on a yoga mat, you're doing some sort of movement. Some people really enjoy also like kind of dancing while they're doing this, or you can simply walk around the block. This this does not need to be like a, a workout, okay? I don't need that to happen for this to work. But I would like for you to put yourself in a safe space and a space where you're not going to be interrupted and everything can wait because you're going to be a better mom, a better business owner, a better coach, a better practitioner, a better healer, a better person, a better human on the other side of this. When you do this work, it's going to remove a lot of resistances and people are going to be able to feel it almost immediately. In fact, you're going to be able to see it on your face. So it'd be interesting right now for you to even take a picture or a video of yourself of what you look like right now and then what you look like after and you'll end up seeing it. It's pretty remarkable. And I love seeing where you guys are doing your abundance walk. So feel free to take a video or a picture of yourself doing your abundance walks and then share it on social media and tag me at project me with Tiffany. It's so fun to see all of those and the different environments that you guys pick. If you've not done any of these with me before, I do not prepare. I prepare myself. I prepare my vessel. I make sure that I am in the abundant zone so that I can transfer that energy onto you. And then I'm in a pure radiating prosperous energy but I actually channel through the universe, through God, you know, what is coming down as a download so that I can provide that to you. I'm not pretending that I know what you need. This is all much greater and bigger than me. And so just know in the beginning of this, if you're watching on Project Me TV on YouTube, you'll see my process or when you buy my Make More Work Less guided workbook video course, you'll see the very powerful, powerful, deep guided meditation that's done in there. And you'll be able to like watch my process. But if you're someone who is simply listening, just know there will be a little bit of white noise and use that time to breathe. Use that time to settle yourself. Use that time to light incense or candles or spray some of your favorite fragrance, put on a body oil or an essential oil that you really like, get comfortable, put yourself in a position that's best for you to receive. Here we go. I want to take you back to childhood. I want to take you back and paint a picture of something that 
may be similar to a memory you have and may be so far off, but in fact, it did happen in some realm, in some force, in some way. And it was a holiday season time. Maybe it was even like a birthday time of year. There was some kind of special occasion coming up and you had a loving parent or a primary caregiver say to you unexpectedly as a little kid, we're going to go shopping today. We're going to go to a store and you're going to be able to pick out a special gift. And you're like, oh my gosh, maybe, maybe your nervous system doesn't fully trust it. Maybe it excites you. Maybe it scares you a little, maybe it makes you feel giddy, but in this case it excites you because it's safe to receive and you know that it's only good that is coming your way. So feel that giddiness, pull it from somewhere else in your life where you were so happy when someone sent you something or gave you something unexpectedly that was so thoughtful and they totally nailed it and it made you feel so seen, heard and understood. It could have been from when you were a kid, a teenager, it could have been from last week. And I want you to Hold on to that feeling because it feels so good when someone does that, when someone thinks of you, when someone does a little thing, it could be they baked your favorite brownies or they found a mug with just that perfect saying on it. And now I want you to infuse that little version of you with that feeling, how it even feels to go in the car on the way there, where are we going? And you end up at this special store that you've never seen before. It's like a pop-up store and it's glorious and it's sparkly and it's incredible. It's magical. It's like the child version, you know, of like a Willy Wonka and the chocolate, chocolate factory. And you're just mesmerized and wide-eyed about it. And the person that you're with grabs your hand lovingly and says to you, you get to pick out anything you want in the store, no matter how much it costs, anything, whatever you want, but you get to pick one thing. And as long as you want to spend in here, you can. I have all the patience and time in the world for you because you deserve time. You deserve time to have patience and grace. You deserve to pick out anything you want in the store and not be constrained or confined around how much something costs. It's not going to take away from anybody else. In fact, it's going to be giving back to more people when you allow yourself to receive a gift of whatever size feels good to you. And you look around the store and there's just so many things. There's so many beautiful things. There's so many beautiful colors. There's sparkles. There's lights. There's toys. There's clothes. There's even pieces of furniture. There's blankets. There's pillows. It's this magical wonderland that you feel was created just for you. And the store is segmented into themes. There is an animal theme. There's an ocean theme. There's theme by colors. There's theme by textures. There's even a 90s theme. There's an 80s theme. There's a 70s theme. There's a food theme. And where do you picture that you might go to first? What are you drawn to first? What pulls you over? Is it the travel theme? Is it the section where everything seems so soft and fuzzy and cuddly? Is it the animal theme? Where do you seem to gravitate to? And you still feel so good about this 
you're not in a state of can't believing it, it's happening. You know it's happening. It's happening and it feels so good. It feels so good. What a perfect day. What a beautiful day. What an exciting day. And you're in true delight, wonder, and awe of it all. What does that little version of you look like right now? What's the look on her face or his face? What's she wearing? What's he wearing? What are the mannerisms? Mm. What do you end up selecting? What are you even searching for? Because whatever you're searching for is right there. It's in this store in the form of some kind of an object. Are you wanting something that is small in size that you could hold like a trinket or something that you can put next to your bed? Are you wanting something that's bigger, like a piece of furniture or a giant stuffed animal? Are you wanting some kind of an ornament or a crystal? Is it a book? Anything you can imagine, allow yourself to expand and imagine that because whatever you imagine will appear before you because it starts with what you can imagine because what you can imagine is a sign from the universe that it actually exists. And in fact, everything already exists. And as long as you can imagine it and then you can attach the belief to it and that it's actually here for you and you can access it and you're worthy of it then you'll be able to call it in to your life. And those steps will be right there for you to get there. Mm. What do you end up looking at? What do you end up picking? What color is it? What shape is it? Maybe you don't have the exact particular thing that has come to your mind yet but I'm sure there's a color. I'm sure there's a shape. Maybe you don't see the thing and you need to go to the store clerk and ask because they do have special things in the back, but you do have to ask because sometimes we can't see them. Sometimes they're not right in front of us, but we have to ask. And when you ask, you shall receive as long as you're clear about what you're asking for. So what do you ask for? How does it feel to be told, oh, it's right here. It's right over here in this section. Oh, we have one of those for you in the back. Oh, we have a couple options for you in the back. Let me go get it. What does it feel like? Well, cool. the exact thing I want is actually here. It's right here. I don't have to wait for it. It doesn't have to be specially ordered. It's already here for me. What is that thing? What does it feel like to have it handed to you? What does it feel like to touch it? What does it feel like to use it? What are you going to do with it? Where are you going to put it? And you can change your mind at any time. And you can come back to the store at any time because this is the abundance of your mind. This is where everything starts because you wouldn't have the thought in your mind of wanting to create something, of having a desire for more money, having a desire of a business, having a desire of success, having a desire of freedom to travel, having a desire to call in love and friendship and support in your life. You wouldn't have those desires if they weren't already here for you. But you have to believe that they're already here for you. And they are. And this store is right here for you at any given time. And if you want to come back and get your own gift at a different time, you certainly can. But today is about this one special gift that you're going to carry with you. And if it's come up for you, what is that gift or the color or the shape, something about it, 
there's some kind of a tie that that has in your life. There's some kind of a symbol of whatever this thing is. There's a message. There's a sign here for you. There's a sign of abundance for you with whatever this is to trust it. And, and you might not know what that sign is or what it resembles or what it signifies, but it'll come to you later, maybe tonight, maybe three days from now, maybe next week, let go of the timing. It'll come to you. It's here to remind you of something, remind you of something profound, remind you of something you've forgotten, remind you of something that you've not really believed in for most of your life, but it was always there. There's just a lot of gunk that got in the way, but now you do. Now you believe it. You can feel it. You can see it. It's right here for you. What do you think that thing is here to say to you? What's the message? It's always the first thing that comes to your mind. Sometimes it's a weird word. Sometimes it's a sentence. Sometimes it's a feeling. There's a knowing. There's a reassurance. Sometimes it's a sensation in your body, like a warm hug. Take a deep breath. And do an audible exhale. I want you to do this a couple more times. It doesn't matter who's around. Move your neck around. Shake your hands, shake your arms. Any, any remaining cracks and crinkles. It's safe to let them go. You don't need to brace yourself for impact. There's no catch here. No one's going to take this away from you. This is yours and only yours and has been all along. You don't have to pay a price for it. You don't have to do chores for it. You don't have to give money for it. You don't have to give up time and energy for it. You get to have this gift just because, just because you believe it, just because you're you, just because you're a magnificent, incredible being, that you get to have it. Say to yourself, I now receive. I welcome any message that comes along with this. I now receive. I welcome any message that comes along with this. I now receive. I welcome any message that comes along with this. I now receive. I welcome any message that comes along with this. Hmm. I want you to open your eyes if they're not already open. I want you to look around you. I want you to notice your surroundings. What's something beautiful in your surroundings? Is it the candle in front of you? Flowers, a tree, the scenery, a picture? Is it your own hands? Is it the blanket you have? Notice something that represents abundance to you. Something simple. I want you, when you're back from your walk, when you're back in your home environment, to go to the space in your house where you want to put the special gift that you got. And I want you to stand there I want you to look at it. I want you to picture that gift on the shelf, on your end table, front and center in your room, in your car, on your body. And I want you to know that it's there and feel that it's there. It doesn't have to actually physically be there in order for something to actually be present because energy doesn't always come in the form of something physical. That's been proven many times over by incredible scientists with lots of factual data to back that up. The energy of it is there. 
you don't have to see it. You just have to trust and believe that it's actually there. And you can come back anytime and every time you walk by this area or any time that you need to be reminded to shift back into abundance, go to this spot, go back to the store, whatever you need is there and embody the feeling of knowing you have it and the delight in it and that it is free, totally free to you. You didn't have to do anything for it except ask for it and pick it out. I love you so much. You're so cared for. You're supposed to be here. You're supposed to want the things that you want. You're supposed to have all of the gifts that you're wanting to call into your life. They're meant for you. In fact, those are your signs or your desires. Wishing you great health, wealth, and worth as always. Love you.